case you didn't know I'm Latina. <laughs> and here to present um, the final art awards hero this night, we welcome to the stage Ms. Brandy Bogley. I am an ABA therapist for the City of Waterbury Autism Program. I am so incredibly proud to be standing here today for Chase Taylor. I've had the pleasure of getting to see Chase grow from middle school through his high school graduation last year. He, was always, he has always been an inspiration to so many people who witnessed his endless hard work and determination. Chase is a passionate young illustrator and author who has developed an engaging children's book series called The Letter Critters. In his books, he encourages kids to have a love of learning and a positive relationship with education and imaginative play. He's developed unique personalities, interests, and features for each of his 26 letter animal critters. At a young age, Chase was diagnosed with autism. Social and communication skills were his greatest challenges. Through the arts, Chase was able to express himself. Through the arts, Chase found a strong and incredible voice within himself. Chase has championed the hurdles of his autism diagnosis and has become an advocate for autism awareness and acceptance. With the publication of his letter creator books, Chase has become an inspirational role model to so many more to persevere in achieving their goals and dreams through obstacles that lie in their path. Chase's contributions to the arts and his advocacy are influencing a positive movement for social change for everyone. If you would join me please in turning your attention to the screen. Well, my dream is to have my characters be a cartoon and to inspire kids to learn more words and spell too. I do have fun with it. Art is important because it expresses how people uh, feel and what they like to do. Without art, life would be uh, boring. Hero Award to Chase Taylor. Thank you. Thank you all. I'm very really honored, honored to get this Connecticut Arts Hero Award, and I'd like to thank the Connecticut Office of the Arts for presenting me this award. Thank you, Ray, for encouraging me over these years and helping me out, too. She was my behavioral therapist in high school and a little bit in middle school too. And I feel really honored for her for nominating me for this award. I'd like to thank everyone for giving me this support. My mom, dad, great brother Chad, and my godparents, and my aunts, and my aunts uncles, cousins, and friends too. <laughs> yeah. Art has been really important to me. When I was young, I used to scribble and draw on magnet doodles, which is the type of toy where you erase your drawings. <laughs> and it made me feel comfortable when I drew different letters and characters. <laughs> I went through a lot of them when I was young, but my mom gave me this software that I could draw on the computer, <laughs> which improves a lot for me. <laughs> oh yeah. I created my letter career series as a fun and engaging way for kids to learn about the alphabet, big words, character development, and personalities to prove that they're not just about their color, but about their personalities. Yeah. This book is written by a teenager like me, who can understand what kids like, and I hope the kids are inspired by my book to learn new words and read. And some of this inspiration was playing educational software, such as Read a Rabbit, since I was a toddler. So I love learning words in a fun and educational way. I really like to cute characters, too. 
And I feel really happy about what I've accomplished so far. And I hope I'm able to do more incredible things in the future. My dream is to have my characters become a cartoon one day. <laughs> Example of what they might look like in the cartoon. <laughs> Hopefully, okay. And I really like everyone to love my lurkers because it'll make me feel good inside. <laughs> and I know a lot of kids on the spectrum who are artists, and I hope I inspire them not to let autism and tubers do their dreams in art. <laughs> and due to my autism, I'm not really social, but my art has helped me with those challenges. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Happy 26th anniversary to my parents. Wow.